Welcome back to my channel. Today we are going antique shopping and thrifting, which I am super, super excited about. I pulled over quickly so I could film an intro, but what I was saying is that today we are going antique and vintage shopping, and I am so freaking excited because we are not only going with myself, which is how it kind of normally happens here on the channel. I am actually going right now to pick up a special guest, and that is Brittany from Badlands Vintage. Now, if you guys remember a while back, I actually ended up purchasing that vintage dining table for my dining room and it is beautiful. I actually bought it from Brittany's store, Badlands Vintage. I came across it on Instagram and ever since purchasing that table, we have been DMing back and forth so often and we actually ended up planning a day to go out and antique together and that is what we are doing today. So I'm bringing you guys along with me. I'm heading right now to pick up Brittany. So let's just go ahead and get her and then we can start the journey of antiquing. You guys, look who I have. Brittany! Hi! This is a professional thrifter. Yeah, antiquer. basically. Yeah, uh -huh. Brittany Joseph from Badlands Vintage. Can you just tell them a little bit about like your store or like your style maybe? Like what you look for? Uh, oh my god, I'm so nervous. A little of anything and everything. I just like a lot of like natural elements, um, lots of texture, lots of woods, travertine, marble. Your style is so good though. Like she has such a good, if you guys have to check out her Instagram if you haven't. I actually wanted to tell you like some of the items that I was thinking about okay. or like wanting to look for. Yeah. Because I also, like of course in terms of like we want to like find furniture, yeah. but I also am kind of like into like some lighting and like mm -hmm. hardware, faucets, like tile, like I, okay. stuff like that. Yeah. Like things that I can actually use in the renovation process and that. not all antique furniture as right. well. Yeah. So like anything like, you know, like the decorative molding pieces and stuff yeah. and like that kind of stuff. Yeah. Yeah. Like uh, architectural salvage. Architectural, yes, yes. exactly. Yay, I, and I, I figured maybe you would know yeah. where some and of that could be. a few places that yeah. I have something like that. <gasps> Yay. Yay. Okay, so we will catch you guys at the first location. We're at, that was Inception. Wait, what's this place called, Brittany? Pasadena Antique Center. Pasadena Antique Center. Look at all of the items. Oh my gosh, these like dividers over here. Oh my gosh, yes, like the alabaster light. How much is that one? $29.50. Actually, this was like kind of, I was thinking that mine would be around the same price if I was to sell it, yeah. but I'm definitely keeping it. Well, <laughs> at least now you have like a reference. Yeah. yeah. Brittany, I think oh you were God, looking for this light. <laughs> Toto, there's no place it's like home. just uh, hanging. <laughs> How much is she? Look at oh, she's $700. This is you. <laughs> this is a Tin Man you. <laughs> Look at this stool, you guys. I saw a sign that said if the item's not tagged, it will not be sold. So you cannot buy that. <laughs> This lamp is so pretty, you guys. Does it work? Oh, she needs a warm tone bulb, though. Yeah. <laughs> I love Why are antiques expensive? <laughs> They're just very old, and you could, um... Art, right? It really is. Editing Drew is popping on. I do want to say that this is my first time actually antique shopping. I think I've only ever been to like two antique stores in my entire life. I mainly go thrift shopping, so seeing the prices of some of the antiques, I was like, oh my gosh, like I didn't expect items to be this expensive when I was antique shopping, but I completely understand why. And honestly, Brittany taught me so much about antiques, uh, which I'm super grateful for. Oh, this is kind of the style of light that I actually want to do in the um, skylight area. How pretty. Look at the little tiny baby stool back there. Can we just talk about them? Oh! They're Burlwood. Oh, Burlwood obelisks. <laughs> 345. What is this? Oh, I think it's just a stool. I don't know, but I love it. I like that it's A little right. pedestal. This is a good one. That is so cool. Sticks are amazing. Love them. I would love to like put some of these in there. Uh -huh. Oh no, I found a fox. Two more. Not <laughs> lone. Not lone fox. Look at the shape of this mirror. 
It almost looks like a seashell. Oh, that's really pretty. It's only $4.75. That's not awful. Wait, how much is I found this vintage um, teeth cleaner. I'm a dentist. Look at these doors, you guys. They look like they're from like Morocco or something. Look at these frames. Look at the stained glass window. Look how cute this is, you guys. The little marble top with the single leg that you mount on the wall. It's like a little kind of shelf situation. Do we need this display? <laughs> Are they real in there? They're real. Kangaroo rat display. That's so random. Oh wow, look at this. It's like maybe like a pot rack or something. Ooh. A corner mounted pot rack. All right guys, we just came across these torches. These are really, really cool. It's a set of two. They are pricey. And it's 20% off. So they're actually about $3.75. Oh, <laughs> oh, these are so beautiful. The hand painted. And then look at this one, you guys. It's super dark. Oh, oh, he is on a donkey. You could barely see it. Wow, look at this dresser. We just came across this really cute little checkerboard box, but it could double as like a trash can maybe for a bathroom. Pretty substantial. How pretty are the color tones in this vintage rug, you guys? Like the greens and the browns, like this is so pretty. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get these squiggle candlesticks. I checked online to see if I could find anything cheaper, um, and I can't find anything that's floor length like this online. And I think these would look so pretty somewhere in the space. Oh my gosh! This is a symphonium. A Symphone Onion. <laughs> it's on sale for 19,500. <laughs> All right, so Brittany, what did you get? I some got pizza boards, some antique pizza kitchen. boards. We're gonna hang them. In the kitchen. Stack them. They're so beautiful. I love them. We actually got like all of this very rustic wood and then I got this little bin. It's very on brand. Very Badlands vibes. <laughs> and then I got these torches, which I think are my favorite item. And I got these candlestick holders too. So three things, very excited about these. We just left the first antique shop and now we're at Goodwill. It was just right next door so we figured we'd pop on in. Look at this coffee table, it's actually really cute. $39.99. See, it was meant to be. So Those are so these cute. These are perfect. These chairs back here are so cute. And you guys, look at these ones over here. They're like rattan, like woven chairs, but they're made in like a wing back style chair. I've never seen anything like that. We're manifesting, 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 <laughs> manifesting. Um, we are currently at the Architectural Salvage, which is a shop in Pasadena. We drove by the backside, and what did we see? I don't even know. Doors, windows. Doors, windows, every Everything. single door that there ever was. Um, but I'm gonna head in here. I'm really looking for some antique tile. I wanna find hardware, ideas for doorknobs, door handles. Like, even if Lighting. I can just get some photos of things, like, just to get the style so I can look for them online, because some of the in-person places are expensive, but, you know, who knows? We can find something, maybe. Fingers crossed. Is 
this even real, you guys? Oh my gosh. This is all authentic, like, Spanish revival. Oh my, oh my gosh, look at all of this. Like, the little keyholes, handles, hinges. <gasps> this is crazy. Look at all of these. You guys, we found the stained glass. Look. Oh my gosh. This is all like authentic stained glass. Just trying to get like ideas on pricing for this kind of stuff, you guys. Love this. Look at these, you guys. Authentic glass doors. My kitchen actually has one of these in it. Really? Yeah, like one of these. Exactly like this. Employees only? Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> oh my goodness. It just keeps going. We took a little break to get some coffee. <laughs> you guys, we found a Lone Fox family member. Hi. Oh, thank you so much. Oh, thank you so much. <laughs> just got to Revival Antiques and look how many I need to move into one of these antique shops because the ceilings and all of them like this is my dream home to have a ceiling like this these chairs over here these are so pretty I love this shade you guys look at these stained glass windows they're like almost doors <laughs> that's exactly what I want though like something with a little more color I mean these might be a little too saturated no I love them but I do like them a lot <laughs> is that what it looks like yeah, okay so this un is unsunned <laughs> unsunned. Unsunned. I feel like they'll always pretty really much be pretty sunned though. though. Oh, look at this. Oh my gosh. I just think that is so pretty. Something about a stained glass window. Oh my gosh, and all this fireplace stuff. Oh, yeah. Because the I. Nice. Yeah, the screens. I do need one of those. Look at how pretty these ones are. There are three of them. And they have this like little center motif on them with the green and then the shiny gold. All right, guys, this is our little haul of items. And please do not look at my car. It looks scary at the moment. But we found this jug here and this jug here for $20 a piece. We found these torches, which were a little bit more expensive, but they are ancient. So, you know, that is okay. And I did find this little bin here, which I love. This was $100 after the discount, but you know, I figured it's really nice. I love this handle it matches the Spanish style of my home perfectly and I thought this would be such a cute like you know trash can or something and the candlesticks and what did you get what did you get what did I get you got the paddles the pizza paddles I got this large jug but it's like what we don't know what it's made of and there's a little one that goes with it up here you can put your pizza paddles in there and display them like put them in <laughs> oh my god Brittany's heading back home. Bye. We went thrifting or antique shopping yeah. all day today and we got some so really, fun. really great finds. And I'm not sure if this is gonna be the end of the video here or not. So if there's more, then it wasn't. Stay and tuned. if not, then goodbye. <laughs> Good morning guys, it has been about a week since I last talked to you and that was when I was with Brittany from Badlands. It was so much fun antiquing with her. And since hanging out with her, I have been obsessing over looking up antiques and vintage items online. I'm just really getting into vintage and antique furniture lately. And I'm actually at another antique store at the moment. This is Liz's Antique Hardware. I should know the name because I actually used to live right around the corner from here for years. I uh, never went in and I recently saw McKenna actually go in and I went to check it out because this could be a great resource for some antique hardware in the future so let's check it out and see if there's anything in there this is absolutely unreal look how much hardware is here you guys this is all antique hardware i even see some from my style of home right there actually this is crazy look how pretty these doorknobs are they're almost like a tortoise I don't know if they're stone or not. I talked to one of the workers at the store and he said that the hardware starts from oldest and then goes to newer over there. So over here is like the Civil War era around 1865, which is unreal that they have hardware from this era. And it's beautiful, you guys. Really love these lights here. The ones with kind of like this, I don't exactly know what that material is, but I see it in a lot of Spanish lighting. 
Oh, I think it's really beautiful. This too, I really, really like this light as well. I thought I had seen like this whole place. It is humongous. Wait until you see like what they have here. So this is the room of sconces. These are literally all sconces. How pretty are some of these, you guys? Like it is crazy. Oh my gosh, I want everything. Look at this like Capiz light. This is all fixtures over here for bathtubs, bathroom lighting antique towel bars and this is like a bathroom setup that they created which i thought was really cool like look how pretty some of these are you guys like this one this brass towel bar with like the more like darker copper apparently there is a loft which is like the upper floor it's called the loft at liz's and it's like an art show so let's check it out how cool is this oh my Gosh, this is such a fun store, you guys. If you have the opportunity to check out Liz's Antique Hardware, this is not sponsored in any way, shape, or form. I wish it was. <laughs> Super cool, though. So he pointed me in the direction of this second shelf here. He said this entire second shelf is Spanish Revival. That is so exciting, you guys, because all of the interior doors actually do not have any original doorknobs on them. There, I well, actually, the lower unit potentially might have some. It has some more of like these crystally style ones, which I'm not sure are original, but these ones here are actual Spanish Revival doorknobs. Now, do I think I'm gonna be replacing all of them? I'm not sure because these are expensive. Um, but it could be nice to, you know, grab like a couple. Yeah. Look how cool, like literally the doorknob with the information on it, and then here they are all in here. Like I was saying, I might of course like exchange maybe some of them for some of these authentic ones, but just redoing all of them might be extremely expensive because I think each of these are like quite a bit. Wow, you guys look how much there is in here. Oh, I love these. These are really cool. The cast iron. just stopped by another place that I found. It's called Eric's Architectural Salvage, and look how big this is. These architectural salvage stores are humongous, but already, just right on walking in, I can see that they have tile, which is exciting. I'm gonna look around a bit, and then I'll share with you guys what I find. Oh my gosh, these are the arts and crafts, or like batch elder style fireplaces and fountains. These are like taken out of old homes, and you can literally purchase them. I'm sure they're very expensive. Uh, they're one of a kind, but they're beautiful. Look at this fireplace mantle. These are those edging detail tiles. I actually have these throughout my home, you guys. Not these exact ones, but very, very, very similar. I don't know if these are, I'm sure these aren't original. They're in like boxes, but I love these. They're so cute. Just a tiny little tile trim how beautiful are these like these are exactly what i want to add to the upper kitchen just to give a little more authentic character like i can do a trim work um on top of the marble i love this one right here that's really cool lighting bathtubs oh wow look at these stained glass doors over here these are so pretty gosh look at that alabaster pendant wow i am looking for a fireplace mantle but this is a little too decorative it has like goat heads on it I think this is crazy you guys wow look at these kind of similar to the pink tiles in the bathroom but I can already tell they're not the right size oh my gosh all this terracotta look at all these little decorative accents just to kind of add back some of the character in the upper unit that was pulling or like taken out of it glass windows I think they're so pretty and I would have loved to see the original windows that were in the house but I can't find them just stumbled across all these tiles in the basement downstairs these are kind of cool though look at them I don't think I've ever really seen anything like these really interesting these are 
pretty though, I love them. Look at these like darker red ones. I just left Eric's Architectural Salvage and oh my gosh, like I just love that I have all these references now. It's honestly really nice living around, you know, an area that has so much interesting architecture that's actually been restored from older homes and I love that you can actually purchase it. Now, of course that comes with quite a hefty price, uh, but I'm definitely willing to invest here and there in some statement pieces or special pieces just to bring back character to the home because a lot of the character was stripped from the upstairs. As you guys know, we have a bunch in the downstairs, but I do want to add some more of that original character upstairs so it just feels universally like one full place. That is my video for you guys today. I hope you enjoyed coming along with me, doing some antique shopping. I know I didn't purchase too much in today's video and we kind of primarily focused on antique stores, which is a little bit different than thrift stores because thrift prices are a fraction of the price. But antique stores, of course, they do have the curated items for you. They have the history on them and there's really a story behind each and every one. So that's what comes with a price point, of course. Thank you guys so much for watching this video. Do not forget to subscribe for new videos every single Thursday and Sunday, and I'll catch you in my next one. Bye!